Luther has a bone and he might be making noise. I'm sorry, he's right here. It says fiber, introduce it, intro. <laughs> Can you still hear him chewing? Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. How are you? It is Christmas time or many other festive seasons for those of you who are not Christmas celebrators. I just want everybody to be included. It's pretty early in the morning. My husband is gone. The Christmas tree is lit. I had a cup of coffee this morning, which I haven't been drinking. I think since I quit in September, I've had like maybe four cups of coffee, just one each, like a separate whatever. Life is good, so it's just you, me, and a Paradise Fibers bag. This one, my understanding is it's like a Narnia theme. I have a relationship with Narnia, as many of the people my age do, and younger and older, really. When I was a kid, I'm gonna say I was maybe six or seven, I don't know exactly. My dad read the book series to us. There was also an animated uh, version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe on TV when I was pretty small and we had taped it from TV back in the days when you couldn't really buy finished movies or taped movies, you just taped stuff yourself. That went away pretty quickly, but um, we probably watched it, I don't know, a thousand times in my life. I wouldn't be surprised if I had watched it a thousand times. And I loved it. I just love everything about magical stories. You guys know how I am. Let's open it together. Ooh, also, just in case you're new, Normally, I have two bags. This month, Paradise had some customs problems while they were importing something for this bag. I don't know what. And um, so the bags came a little later. They shipped a little later. I believe my other one is on its way. If I'm off the list, nobody told me. But every month, they send me one to unbox on my channel or unbag on my channel now. And also, I buy one and I give it away. So this is last month's bag. I'll be drawing for a winner at the end of this video. And the way that you enter to win the second December bag is comment on a video, starting with this one, going all the way until the next bag shows up at my house and I open it. Okay, so this is the lamp post through the wardrobe. I think you can see it. It might be a little glare, but I do really like these bags. I know some of you don't, but if it helps them get all their packages out on time, I think that has some value and I do try to reuse mine if I can. And they're very creative. All right, so I heard they outdid themselves this month, but I don't know what it was because I, I was like inching my way down the spoiler thread on Ravelry to make sure I didn't see a picture and I saw the, stop, the top of a picture and I was like Burr. So I don't know what's actually in here. So ready? Oh wait, let's see if I can find the paper. Here's the papers. Okay. So this says, Narnia, let us go and take the adventures that shall fall to us. And that's a quote from C.S. Lewis. This season we invite you to spin lace weight yarn for the delightful simple thing shawl by Carolyn Hegwer. I may have pronounced that wrong, I apologize. So this is the picture. And then it's describing what you would spin if you were gonna make this shawl. It is a pretty shawl, so who knows, maybe. In your bag, which two blends did you receive? Okay, I forget to say this sometimes too. If you get this package and you want something that's in it, you can call them and get it um, before it's actually available on the website. And also you get a 10% discount if you are a club member. 
Fiber, introducing our newest collection, Nunia, featuring four fluffy, two adorned with glitz, blends inspired by the Chronicles of Narnia, a series of fantasy novels written by the British author C.S. Lewis in the 1950s. What is in here, six tonal shades of fine merino wool, 70%, natural de-haired cashmere top, oh, 15%, and brilliant grade A mulberry silk top, 15%. Let's get those out. I'm excited. There's four pictured blends right up here. Oh, so I got Tree of Youth. Look, isn't that cute? It says let it snow. Sorry, the light's glaring a little, but this is pretty. Oh, look at this. So in case, it's like shades of just really wintry colors. So like a light, light beige kind of color white, there's silver glitz in here, baby blue, kind of a, um, a more of a like ashy, ash brown color, kind of a grayish color. It is pretty and you guys so soft. So it says we got two ounces each. Oh no, this one is two ounces and then the other one I guess is four ounces. So that's beautiful and I love it and it would make a beautiful sweater. I may have to order that. Okay, ready? Oh, this is Wood Between the Worlds. So if you've read the books, that will make sense to you. Oh, penguins, I'm all into penguins this year. I don't know what, it's, what it is. So this one again is just like, for winter foresty colors. So different shades of green. There is that very light blue, kind of silvery blue again. I see a little white, just kind of trying to get in there and see it all. It is so pretty and really, really soft. Wow, okay. All right, and now there's a notions bag in here. It says, okay. Leave it to me to not be able to open the bag, right? Come on, Trish, you can do it. I can see. There we go, got it. <laughs> All right, it says venture through the wardrobe and sip a cup of stash holiday chai tea. Holiday chai, look at that. Since I gave up caffeine, I am drinking a lot more tea, so, but uh, mostly the caffeine free ones, but honestly I have been drinking regular tea occasionally. Next is a vinyl Mr. Tumnus. Toon, Get it, tombness. Oh my God, he's cute. He is darling. Teeny little horns, I love it. Right down to the scarf. This says, oh. Careful not to doze off or you might wake up to the white witch luring you with approximately 34 millimeter faceted crystal beads um so I, we got a threader these are really good for uh putting your beads on whatever you're gonna use uh you know what? i have a video of adding beads and sequins to yarn maybe i'll link it i think i might have two videos actually so I don't know if you'll be able to see these in my, but there's a bunch of these in the little bag. These would be so awesome to add to knitting. Honestly, you guys, I don't know if you can picture this, but these on this would be insanely just gorgeous. Maybe just plied on there. I don't know. Well, let's discuss. We'll talk about it when I get to it. Shine light on your journey with your illuminating lamppost flame stitch marker. Oh, there's two stitch markers in here. <gasps> what? This is too cute. So it's got 
one of those um, battery tender, look at, it lights up. And they made them on. You can turn it off though. But how, that's a stitch marker. Let's see, this is off. And that's on, isn't that fun? Okay, love that. And adorn your projects while you go with your rhinestone teardrop stitch marker to ward off all creative <laughs> blocks. Isn't that pretty? Love that one and I love the color. Thanks Paradise, this box is absolutely beautiful and it's time to go pick a winner for November. Let's go. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six videos. Okay, so what I do is pick the video first and then pick a comment from there. So it's number one. So it's the last, the November unboxing is the one that I need to pick a comment from. Let me grab that link and I'll be right back. So I go to random comment picker. This one, it's actually just called commentpicker.com. I know a couple of you have actually asked what the website is. So all you have to do is put the link to the video that you want to use in here. And you have to do get comments. And it's 111 and then you click start right here. Amy M, you win the November bag. She said, oh gosh, I have zero dyeing experience, so I was opening this video thinking, awesome, Trisha's going to tell me what the heck to do with this walnut stuff. But I get it. Walnut is brown and an unpredictable brown at that. So there's more, of course. But Amy, just send me an email to fiberlovediary at gmail.com and I will mail your package to you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I've never really talked about this before, but it did finally come up. So one of you contacted me, I think it was the end of December, of September or October, and said, I'm catching up on videos. I just realized I won one from like months back. I think it was the May one. Um, you probably don't have it anymore. And I was like, I totally have it. So this is what I've been doing. I keep it for a year. And if you don't claim it within a year, I've been looking for a person who, for whatever reason, could use it. Like maybe they can't afford to get the subscription box right now. Maybe they're a brand new spinner and they didn't know about it at the time. I don't know how to explain this to you, but sometimes, and there is one, uh, there's at least one or two of you out there who will already know this about me. Sometimes I just feel motivated internally to give something away and sometimes it doesn't really make sense like many years ago I had this friend this is weird this is a weird story I didn't know this was gonna turn into story time but whatever I love you guys many years ago it was 2011 I think 2011 or 2012 she had completed cancer treatment like six or eight months before. And I was knitting this shawl and she kept talking about how much she loved it. It was called the Estes Park shawl and you can look it up. I, it had like six million beads on it and I had dyed the yarn for it. It was really beautiful. It was pretty and I always told myself I was gonna make myself another one and I never did, but you guys know how that goes. So I don't really wear the shawls anyway, so it's, you know, it's fine. So literally one night I was lying in bed, not thinking about anything like you do when you're lying in bed. And I heard a voice like in my head kind of, and it was like, give it to this person. And I was like, no, <laughs> and because I had, to, I had like literally just about finished that shawl. It was like getting ready to bind off 6 million stitches or whatever. And I literally had this whole weird conversation in my head where I was like, no, I don't want to give that up. I worked my buns off on it. I dyed the yarn. I put, you know, beads slow you down. They make the knitting take longer. I didn't want to do it. And the next day we had knitting at a coffee shop where we used to meet and I ended up giving it to her anyway and she cried and she was totally not a crier. And she was like, I got the news yesterday that my cancer's back. And it was like, that was the second time something like that had kind of happened to me and now if I feel some sort of internal push to give something away I just do it I don't say no to myself 
I don't question like what's going on am I weird am I crazy do I am I hearing voices that I shouldn't be hearing I just do it and move on with my life so I wait for that to happen and then I give them away but I wait a whole year after you won oh this is a bonus video I'll still see you Friday I love you bye